Happy New Year! I want to start this year by sharing the single most life-changing tool I have ever used. This isn't just about code, it's about unlocking your brain. Since I was a child, I had so many weird, crazy ideas. I wanted to build games, tools, silly apps, but I never finished them. My attention span is short. I'd lose focus. Even though I taught myself some basic web coding and Unity years ago, I wasn't an expert. My dream projects stayed as just dreams. But then, AI happened. From the first ChatGPT to the new Google Gemini, everything changed. I finally finished those childhood dream projects. And if I can do it with my scattered focus, you can do it too. He might be thinking, I'm just a consumer, I'll just watch. That's okay, but watch this video to understand how vibe coding works. So the day you decide to turn from a consumer to a prosumer, you'll know exactly how to start. Before we build, let's look at the roadmap. This is the system. We start with the problem. We feed it to the AI builder. If we break it, we use rollback. We save it in our digital vault, GitHub. We launch it on Versal. And finally, we share the live apps. Now, here is a secret that not many people know. Before I write any code, I start here, Google AI Studio. And no, this is not a sponsored video. I use this almost every day because it gives you access to the latest, smartest models for free. It's basically an unlimited playground for creators compared to the standard Gemini app. I don't start building immediately. I dump my messy ideas into chat mode first and ask the AI, rewrite this into a systematic instruction. It turns my mess into a clear plan. Then, I copy that plan and feed it into the build mode. Clear instructions equal clear code. Now, a reality check. Since we are using this powerful tool for free, traffic can be high. Sometimes you wait 4 to 8 minutes. Be patient. It's worth the wait. You don't need to list a tech stack, but if you know a keyword like React 3 Fiber for 3D graphics, put it in. It helps guide the AI. Here is the truth. For a complex 3D app like this, the first result is never perfect. The visuals and physics were the hardest part. The balls kept glitching through the glass. I tried explaining it with words. I tried sending screenshots. But the AI just couldn't guess exactly where the invisible hitboxes should be. So I tried a different strategy. I asked the AI, create a dev mode. I asked it to give me the control sliders to adjust the invisible walls and physics myself. It worked. I found the perfect values manually, then told the AI to lock those numbers in. This is a pro tip. If the AI can't see the problem, ask it to build you a tool so you can fix it. Of course, I also broke the app a few times. That's when you use the rollback feature. It's a time machine for your mistakes. Once the physics were solid, I saved it to GitHub, our digital vault. It's free and keeps your code safe. Then I launched it on Vercel. One click, and it hosts your app for the world to see. And there it is, a live 3D gotcha machine running in the browser. Now, let's be real. Marketing videos say, one prompt, 10 minutes. That is true for simple apps, but for this, it took me four to five hours. 3D physics and custom UI take time to polish. Also, remember, this app has no backend. It doesn't save data to a server. If you want a complex app that saves user data, that's a whole new level. There are paid tools for that, but Google recently launched Firebase Studio. It's just like AI Studio, but specifically for Vive coding, your backend and database. I'll make a tutorial on that soon. I'm also planning a video on anti-gravity. It's a new AI editor, kind of like VS Code. But it lets you bring this vibe coding magic into huge projects like mobile apps or even game engines like Unity and Unreal. You don't want to miss that. For now, you can play with the final gotcha app on my website link below. Leave a comment about your dream project. The gap between dreaming and doing is closing. Go build something. Thanks for watching.